we go another episode of cooking with smar so today we're going to be making steak diane with some roasted herb potato and corn the reason why we're making some steak diane today because i want something similar to the peppercorn sauce and i woke up this morning and i was craving for some steak and i know she's craving for some steak she's just prepping up all the other stuff back to the story when I was working at Morning State House, and you know, they had this filet mignon steak that we used to make when I was working there. And basically, they cut like a toasted bread, and they basically get like a cutter, and cut into like a little circle croutons. And basically what we do is, we pan sear the steak, and you know, basically making the Diane sauce. So, today, I think I got most of the stuff, if I still can remember how to make it. And hopefully, uh, we will get our meat and plots done, right B? <laughs> and she never tasted this before, so I'm, we're gonna get everything ready. All right, guys, we just got done with all our mise en So on this meal, we want to start with the thing that cooked the longest. So the thing that cooked the longest is basically the herb and roasted corn potato. For this meal, you need the corn, the Dutch potato. Yeah, the Dutch potato. <laughs> And the Tony Satcher and garlic powder and of course a little bit of fresh garlic gonna bring out more flavor into the roasted potato and of course we want to add the Italian season. We're gonna do it a little bit different so today she gonna make this and I want to just be the narrator right so she just drain out all the water right now on a different pot then we're gonna add some butter, some butter exactly so she gonna scoop about what about two for a spoon yeah. two for a spoon in there Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. We're gonna let that melt down a little bit. So now we're gonna add about two tablespoons of the garlic powder, like that. Fresh garlic. Fresh garlic powder, exactly. Not powder. Fresh gar minced garlic. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna let that saute it up a little bit. Let it get that smell coming out, and you know, to make the house smell a little bit garlicky, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna add the Dutch potatoes in there. We're gonna let it saute it up a little bit. All right, now it's saute a little bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just add about two tablespoons of Italian season. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake a little bit of Tony Satcher right there. Probably right, we're gonna put like two tablespoons in there. And of course, we gotta have a little bit more garlic powder. We're gonna put that in. Then we're gonna shake it up like that, okay? Get it all shaked up. Then after that, we want to add the corn on cob that I bought. And basically what I did was I just cut it in half. So we're going to just pour it all in, shake it all up. I think this pan is too small, but I'm going to try to shake it up. Let me see. Okay. 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 Oh, shoot. It's messed up. All right. I'm going to toss it, and I've been letting it cook for at least about four minutes. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to just pour it in, that into that. Oh yeah, so it's gonna look like that right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the temperature in the oven, convection oven, for 400 degrees, about 30 minutes, and we're gonna see how it look after 30 minutes. And the key thing is, once the potatoes, these Dutch potatoes are so small, once they get golden brown, the corn and everything should be good to go at the same time. So the key thing is, we try and get the potato golden brown. So right now I'm just, well, she gonna put it in the oven. Okay, set it for 30 minutes and see how it go. All right, so while the potato getting cooked, I got two bone in ribeye that I basically cut the bone off and I just pound the meat so it could be thin. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of Himalayan salt right here and for both steak, okay, like that. I think a little bit more should be do it. And right now, what I'm gonna add the crushed black pepper that you're gonna grind up. And you know, basically we're gonna Season both sides of steak and let it sit for like, you know, just basically room, room temperature until, you know, the potatoes almost getting done. It's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult to grind it up. Uh, we should have one of those uh, portable uh, electrical grinder that you do got in your hand and you got the arthritis pain too, right? <laughs> and so she's going to just grind up and look like that. We're gonna do it on both sides. Like I said, we're gonna just set to the side, be on room temperature until the potatoes get done. So it's been like at least 15 minutes in already. Babe, you got the gloves? All right, let's get it. so cute. <laughs> Let me see the gloves. Oh, Halloween theme. Oh yeah, you know me, you love Halloween stuff. <laughs> so let's take it out and let's see how it look. Ooh, it smells so good up in there. Woo, woo. 
For real, just pull it out. Yeah, don't. Oh, yeah, 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 help nah. All right, she's taking it out. Okay. And that's how it looks, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir it up so it could be evenly cooked. I see a little bit brown, but it's not there yet. It's not really there, right, B? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. So let's stir it up. Just hold it. Yeah, I'll hold up. Let me get the gloves. Okay. Put the gloves in. Okay, I'll hold it in. And there you go. Start stirring up. Oh, yes. Still hear the sizzle, baby. Wow. Oh, man, the, the smell of the garlic getting roasted up. Man, man, my mouth is drooling. I, I think people can hear it. <laughs> we just gonna mix it up and put it back in the oven for another 15 more minutes and it should be good to go. All right, guys, we've been cooking over about 45 minutes. I say 30 minutes, but it's 45 minutes and it's supposed to look like that. So right now, I'll just shut off the oven, okay? So now we're gonna start cooking the steak, so we're gonna add a little bit of oil in there. Okay, she did her red, cause she on top of her game. Are you hungry, B? Always. Have you ever tasted this kind of steak before? It's sort of like the peppercorn sauce, but it's like a little bit mushroom and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm figure it out today. <laughs> so right now, while that's heating it up, it should be heated up. Oh yeah, it's hot right now. All right, the oil is getting heated up already, so let's, Grab one of this steak, put it on, let it sear. Oh yeah, baby, that sizzle, my nizzle, oh yeah. All right, well it's been pan frying for at least three minutes, so we're gonna try and flip it over. Oh yes, oh yeah, that's how we wanna do it. So we're gonna pan to the other side three minutes. All right, the second steak is done already, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the steak out, put it to the side like that, then right down from this pan, we're gonna add a little bit of shallot, right there, oh yeah. Then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic, oh yeah, just like that, let it sizzle a little bit. Then after that, we're gonna add whatever's left over that we used earlier for the grocery potato, just add a little bit of butter, oh yeah, just like that. Then a little bit of Worcestershire, okay, just probably about, about four swig up in there, okay, let that cook up a little bit, so the most exciting important thing is right now, babe, is a farm bay, you never seen it, right, in, in real life, the farm bay, it's, it's all like a table side that people do at fine dining, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, cause, that yeah, that fancy, yeah. so we're gonna let it saute, then I got a little airplane bottle of the brandy because I didn't want to buy the big one because I'm not an alcoholic like her. Huh? <laughs> so what we're going to do is, I hope I hope it works. So let me see if I got the lighter. And we're going to, what we do is we're going to pour the brandy in there, okay? Then we're going to flambe it. Ooh! Ooh oh yeah, wow. babe! You see that, babe? You see it? Flambe! So we're going to just stir it up, let it cook all. Okay, once that cooked off already, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a five spoon of the gray poupon. Put it in, babe, hurry up. Okay, one spoon should be enough. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just mix it all up. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot? I totally forgot. The portobello mushroom. Oh shoot, oh my god, that's why I suppose. Got carried away, got too exciting for the flambe. I don't really want to show you that the flambe. We did this, we did it, we actually did it, babe. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, so cool. Now I know how to do it. So we're gonna saute that up a little bit. You know, the proper way is supposed to saute the mushroom with the shallot and the garlic. But I was so excited to show her the flambe. I totally forgot. So right now we're gonna add a little bit of white pepper. It called for uh, cracked black pepper, but I'm gonna use that. Then after that, I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley. Okay, then after that, we're gonna add the heavy cream. The heavy cream, once you put it in, it's supposed to make a different color. Let's pour it in. Oh yeah. We're probably gonna use a cupful, and that's how the sauce is supposed to look, baby. We're gonna just mix it up. Oh yeah. And that's how the Diane sauce is supposed to look. So we're gonna let it cook down a little bit more. So the sauce has been reduced down already. Well, basically I was waiting for the mushroom to cook down. So basically it's cooked down already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the steak back in. Oh yeah, just like that, just like that. The steak is probably mid-rare on both sides. Well, basically mid-rare. So the steak gonna look like that. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna just sauce it up and let it cook for a little bit. Oh. Yes, 
Look at that, man. My mouth is drooling while I'm vlogging right now. I can't wait to eat this, man. All right, guys, we just got done getting all the foods ready. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. So, right now, I'm gonna get all the plates ready. Getting all set up to plate up. Let me see if I can show y'all right there. And let me see. I wanna get the roasted potato out right now. Oh yes, oh yes, look at that baby. Look at that roasted potato, oh my gosh. Smells so awesome. Spoon for the potatoes. I'll put it on each plate just for me and her, basically. So I'm gonna just put it up, a plate right there. Oh yeah, one for her. Oh my gosh, so. So smells so good right now, man. My mouth is drooling. Yeah. We'll get the steak. Put the steak right here. Oh yeah. Put one steak right there. And put another steak right here. Okay. Then after that, and pour the sauce on top. Like that. Okay. Like that. Oh yeah. Just like that. Woo hoo! Wow. Look at this guys, look at it. Right now you really can't see it, but I'm gonna show you right now how it's looking right now. Oh yeah. I'm so hungry, are you hungry B? Yep. <laughs> so quiet, but you were munching all these cookies and fruits a while ago. How can you be still be hungry? I like to snack. Cause you were smoking a lot a while ago. Man. <laughs> so, look at this baby, look at that, uh, 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 it's not five star, but hey, it is what it is. Oh my God. So babe, you ready to take the first bite? Yeah. Come on, let's get the knife ready, okay? Let's get the knife ready. Come on, move too slow. Let's cut that little piece right here. Okay. Yeah, okay. see, yeah, exactly. Cut me a little, it's okay. Trust me, we've been boiling. Trust me, eat that one. No. You know, trust me. Just try it, man. Mm. Be wild for once. Meat mid rare tastes better than mid well. A lot of people will agree with me, man. Ready? Yes, I've been ready. With the sauce. Mmm. Get the roasted potatoes. Something different. Mm. It is something different, right? Better than the peppercorn sauce. Mmm. You do it anyway, I like it anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> Babe, cut me a piece. So I wanna try it out with the potato. Oh yeah, like that. Ooh. So I'm gonna get one piece right here. She got me hooked up already. Oh yeah, like that, baby. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm, the corn. Mmm. The corn? Is the corn good? Yeah. Oh my god. The roasted corn, huh? Everything tastes so good right now. The house is smelling ridiculous. I hope when my yin walks in, which is Jackie, walk in the house, she's gonna be so happy with the smell. But me and her, go enjoy the meal. Hope to see y'all on our next weekly ball, babe. Stop eating. <laughs> see y'all.